Palestinians celebrate what they see as victory. The Israelis have removed all security measures from the Lions Gate entrance to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. This is a victory for the Palestinian street and they've proven to the whole world that the Palestinians are alive and well and defended Al-Aqsa with all they have. But despite the joy, no decision has been made by the WACF, the Jordanian custodians of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, on whether Palestinians can now pray inside the compound or not. It says it's waiting on a technical report on Israel's plans to introduce smart surveillance technology at the gates. Meanwhile, the Israelis have handed over the bodies of the three Palestinian men who killed two Israeli security forces on July 14th. It was only after a high court decision that the bodies were returned. The men were buried in the village of Umm al-Faham, north of Jerusalem. The incident led to Israel's introduction of new security measures, a move that angered Palestinians who feared it changed the status quo at the sensitive site. All eyes are now on the WAC, the Jordanian custodians of the compound, and what decision it makes when it comes to re-entering Al-Aqsa. Even if the religious leaders ask the Palestinians to go back into the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and pray, it's unlikely to happen. Certainly within the next 24 hours, the Palestinians of occupied East Jerusalem finally say that they have a voice that's been ignored far too long. And they're not just protesting what's going on when it comes to security measures at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, but they're protesting against occupation. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, occupied East Jerusalem.